dark beer that's light and smooth? Let's talk about International Dark Lager, a surprisingly easy drinker with just enough flavor to keep things interesting. At first glance, it looks like a heavy beer, but it's not. International Dark Lagers are light to moderately dark in color, with subtle malt character and very little hop flavor. They are smooth and well-balanced, with low bitterness and a clean finish. The goal is drinkability. These beers are meant to be enjoyed by people who might not usually drink darker beer. This style comes from large international breweries, especially in countries like Mexico, Japan, and parts of Europe. It's influenced by traditional German and Czech dark lagers, but is usually lighter and less complex. Brands like Dos Equis Amber, Asahi Black, and Heineken Dark helped popularize this style worldwide. It's often brewed as a mass market beer with broad appeal. We're using treated water and adding both calcium chloride and calcium sulfate to achieve our desired mineral profile, as our local water is very soft. For our base malts, we use a combination of Pilsner Malt and Munich Type 2. Pilsner Malt provides the majority of extract, enzymes, proteins, and minerals to the mash. Munich Malt contributes a rich malt character with a deep amber color, offering notes of caramel, honey, and bread. To enhance the color and add complexity to the flavor, we include Carafa Type 3 Malt, which imparts deeper hues and subtle roasted notes. For mashing, we start with 20 liters of strike water heated to 71 degrees Celsius. After adding the grist, we hold the mash at 65 degrees for 35 minutes to ensure complete starch conversion. The mash pH is carefully adjusted to 5.5 using lactic acid. Before laudering, we raise the mash temperature to 77 degrees Celsius for enzyme deactivation. Sparging is performed with 35 to 40 liters of treated brewing liquor at 78 degrees Celsius. Runoff is stopped after collecting 45 liters of wort at 10 degrees Play-Doh in the brew kettle. Once we reach our full kettle volume, the wort is boiled for 75 minutes, with a final target volume of 42 liters at 11 degree Play-Doh post-boil. For this recipe, we use only Saz hops, which provide a classic noble hop profile with subtle spicy floral and herbal notes. Our target bitterness is 15 IBUs. The first edition of Saz hops occurs 15 minutes into the boil, while the final edition is made 5 minutes before the end to maximize flavor and aroma. After boiling, the wort undergoes a 15-minute whirlpool rest.
before being cooled to 12 degrees Celsius using a wart chiller. We then combine worts from five small brew systems to collect a total of 200 liters in the fermentation vessel. Fermentation is carried out with Safbrew LD20 yeast and enzyme combination, which produces dry, clean and highly drinkable beer. This dry yeast is pitched directly into the fermentation vessel at a rate of 200 grams per hectoliter. Primary fermentation lasts at least two weeks at 12 degrees Celsius, or until the beer reaches the target ABV of 4.5%. Following this, the beer is gradually cooled to zero degrees Celsius for an additional two weeks of cold aging before being filtered and transferred to the bright beer tank. Natural carbonation is achieved using a bunging device with the final CO2 level adjusted to 2.5 volumes before packaging. This dark lager showcases a deep brown color with good clarity and a light tan head. Despite its rich hue, the flavor remains mild and approachable, featuring subtle notes of caramel, toasted bread, and a hint of cocoa, without any heavy roastiness or bitterness. A gentle sweetness balances the profile, while the finish is crisp and clean. Hop aroma and bitterness are very low, allowing the malt character to shine. International dark lagers are great with a wide range of foods. They pair especially well with tacos, grilled meats, fried chicken, or even cheesy comfort foods. The light roast and clean finish make them a good match for richer spicy flavors. This style is perfect for drinkers who want a darker looking beer without the heavy flavors of a stout or porter. It's refreshing, lightly malty, and highly drinkable. While not super complex, it's approachable and versatile. A good bridge beer for those exploring darker styles for the first time. Cheers!